Well. Ooh, a little sharp piece on there. I guess it's so dark I can't can't really see but uh got these angle angle iron and it's shaped to, to make the top flat and to make a square for the top because my feed tube is obviously square and my burner is round so this is what I got. So I wanted to build all the feeder, build it all into the burner. So that way when I remove the burner, I can still burn stick wood or still p burn it with regular wood. So you can see the way it's going to work like that. And this you can see the corners are the angle iron is there so the air won't won't be able to leak by there too bad and I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom so when I'm done putting the angle iron on the bottom this is not the piece I'm using but this is just an example um, when I'm done putting the the angle iron on the bottom it'll be the square and the corners the corners will be uh, the air won't be able to get by the corners same as the top just like this have a nice straight flat square and the air can't get through can't get through that corner for the most part so it'll all have to go through the burner which is what I want so, all the pellets I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna have uh, a funnel that goes, that bypasses the secondary chamber so the pellets, so the pellets will, uh, so the pellets will go directly into the into the burner but this piece is too big so I can't really show you what I'm talking about and when I'm done it'll be a funnel and the funnel will come to this corner right here so the pellets will drop straight in like a funnel into the burner just like that so it's hard to explain it until I get it all done but I think you get the picture I really want to fire this thing up again, but I really want to finish this burner first. So, I'll let you know when I get some more done.